What up, people? It's your boy, Master Trudy, out here with another comic review. So we got part two of No Justice. Uh, Justice League No Justice. And, you know, a couple people have said, you know, the first one was bland. You know, it, well, it wasn't bad, it wasn't good, it was average. And, you know, I always love a good DC event, so maybe I was a bit biased. But I feel that, you know, critics like Yellow Flash can appreciate that this book has, you know, maybe assaged a couple of his fears or maybe just say oh you know there is some action and this book does really pick up i think this is is definitely a lot better than the first one it's definitely good and we do pick up so let's get into it so we're at the arctic circle amanda waller is here and um we see that she's trying to she's investigating something in the arctic circle you see that uh uh general lane which probably is those refers to those as Lane's father telling her to get back here and um, she's like, and he's like saying, "You got to get your ass back out." He's saying, "No, nah, no, nah, I got, I have more important business to do." So, he, and she's like, "Tax Force Eleven, which is pretty much her new task, death, um, Suicide Squad, since her original ones are off in another galaxy, saying that they're prepared to shut down any attack that comes within sixty miles from a location." And she's like, "Me, if I look up in the sky and see a bird, plane, or any damn sign of you, you'll be very, very sorry." She's like, "Intelligence is telling me your psychics are all comatose. Who are you going to believe, General? The combined intelligence services of the United States military or me?" And then <laughs> General Lynn is like, "You have an hour." It's like, "Waller out." And she's like, "Idiot." But then we see somebody confronts her. It's like, "Yeah, this next conversation is not going to be so easy, Amanda. I know you're responsible for this somehow. So tell me." <laughs> where the hell is the Justice League? So you just see this fantastic shot of Green Arrow pretty much telling Amanda Waters, like, you better tell me what I need to know. Of course, Scott Snyder, James Tinney, and the fourth of Josh and Wilson are the writers. Francis Manipal and Marcus Toe are the artists. And I think that the art is a little bit more toned down in this one. It's still very good, but people were saying that the colors were a little bit eh, a little bit too bright and everywhere all the crease. I think they realized this and kind of toned it down a bit. So you have um, Planet Kolu, where the hell the Justice League is, so that's funny. So we just see everybody on Brainiac's planet has been evacuated. Brainiac, of course, has been taken out of been taken out of commission. And we just see this guy's like, oh no, it's one of them, a minion of Brainiac's. Like, no, 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 we're not Team Brainiac. Well, sort of, before his head blew up. I mean, look, we're here to help. You wear his technology, the greatest villain in our history, and you claim you're heroes? And Beast Boy's like, um, hey, back me up. We just see this nice flash page of these guards attacking the Justice League and everybody else. Well, mainly the Justice League. Say, so guys, it's like a little busy, busy boy. Please listen to us. We're here to help. So we just see Superman and his team. Superman, we just see the Justice League fighting them. It's like it flashes no use. They're programmed to destroy anything associated with Brainiac. At least they're the, they're the least of our problems, Superman. We need to get past them to stop that Omega Titan from eating the planet. What we need, Batman, is a plan. So we see Adam take out this one. It's like, Brainiac put... Us in these for put us in these teams for a reason. We just have to figure it out. And we just see Starro is like, ha, right through his brain pan. I like you, tiny man. <laughs> so Starro is like the com the comic of the team, which it works. You know, it's a giant starfish. You know, making laughs. And we just see say Thomas like saying, I can't hold him forever. It's like trying. It's like if you're gonna make a decision, make one. And then um, Cyborg's like, I'm trying, Zaytana, but these suits are going crazy. I'm trying to recalibrate them, but they won't let me. And we just see Harley's like, yeah, well, maybe that has something to do with it. So we see this, uh, we see the Tree of Wisdom. And we see that um, Cyborg is analyzing the same fascinating. It's not a real tree. It's made out of information. It's broadcasting a signal. This has to be how the Omega Titans are determined the dominant energy on a planet. And on Kolu, it's wisdom. I can feel my suit drawn toward it. And then we just see, Victor, I feel a pull too, but not here. Somewhere south. For me, it's northwest, Starfire. It's faint. So what? Four teams, four energies, four trees? And Batman's like, the League will take point. Reform the teams on our own terms before we explore these locations. And we just see yeah, Sinestro's like, I've led entire armies. I will not be ordered. I will not follow orders of a delusional human in, in a Kevlar cape. And we just see Lobo's like, hell, the main man doesn't care who's the boss so long as he can stick his hook in a space gun. What do you think, Blue? Want to give me a toss? And Superman is like, oh. And then uh, Lex is looking at Marshman and he's like, you, are you going to tell them, John, or should I? 
And then uh, <laughs> Sean is like, by all means, Luthor. So Luthor gives the spiel, it's like, like it or not, Brainiac was one of the smartest beings to ever live. The next smartest, besides myself, all lived <laughs> all lived here on Kalu. And they're running for their lives like frightened children. I'm running for their lives like frightened children. Sorry, I'm in the parking lot just getting my grocery shopping, so you gotta forgive me. This is a car video. It's like, as much as it pains me to say it, the lot of us, we don't come close to measuring up. We aren't going to solve this with our wits and will. Our best chance for survival is to follow the plan Brainiac set. So we just see all the crews ready to go. Red team. You just see, oh, this is a fantastic shot of all these people. So we just see the nodes in our costumes are drawing us to the four energy pools. Brainiac told us that we need to restart the three dying energies to counteract wisdom's power over this planet. So we get in the teams he organized, and we figure out how to save this planet. And then Superman's like, Luthor's right. I wish he weren't, but we don't have any other leads. And it's like, there's at least one leaguer on each of Brainiac's teams. I can live with it. As can I. It's like, yeah, same. Damien has been telling his father that this has been a bad idea from the start. It's like, Brainiac has an agenda. Following his playbook, we might find answers. They, even if they aren't the answers we want, it's the right decision. And then you just see, the right decision is the one Brainiac and Luthor are pushing on us? Really? And then you just see Batman's like, enough, Robin. I was going to say it's the right decision for now. We have a world to save. And then Lex is like, correction, teammate. We have two worlds to save. And counting. So, Green Arrow tells him, like, starts telling him like this. Four hours ago, every device on... Queen Industries satellite network exploded. I traced the signature signal to a blackout zone surrounding you, Waller. So the question is, what in God's name are you up to? It's like, will you just shut up and shoot me, Green Arrow? What? It's like, the world's gonna end, so either you shoot me now and save me the trouble, or get out of the way and let me do my damn job. And she's like, first, tell me what's going on. And she's like, fine. So she just uh, ties up Green Arrow like this, you know, because that's how Waller does. And I see, after the invasion of the Dark Multiverse, the Justice League informed the government that, the, that in the battle they had broken the Source Wall. Our intelligence officers had no idea there was even was a wall at the edge of the universe until your friends broke it. I had to know what else they were keeping from us. So when Brainiac invaded American soil, I gathered the world's most powerful psychics, ripped every piece of data from his head, and you know what it showed me? Brainiac had managed to put... Earth next on the menu for fourth ancient space gods and blackmail the heroes into fighting them on his home planet. So what am I doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Cleaning up your pal's mess. Because a few hundred feet from here is the only thing that can save us. And Green Arrow's like, okay, if that's where... It's like, okay, even if that were true, and that's a big if, why are you out alone? You could have called in more superheroes? No, thank you. You all got us into this mess. I'll get us out. You don't know. While there are no other superheroes. So let me skip that. You just see, it happened after you went off the grid. The rest of the heroes from the main four teams went into some kind of stasis. So we see right here that Wally West is out. Donna Troy is out. Aquaman's out. Nightwing is out. It's like, Brainiac must have been planning to fail safe. Fail safe. Why it went off now, who knows. But the fact is, we're on our own. Why do you think I dragged my ass all the way up here? There's no one left. I know neither of us plays well with others, but we need to do this together. Tell me the plan, and I'll follow your lead. So Amanda Waller is like, If you want to work with me, the next time I tell you shoot, you shoot. As for the rest of the plan, first, we dig up the Earth's dormant cosmic seed, which hopefully... <laughs> sake, we'll know when we see it. So, we see that... um. Batman's team, Team Entropy, has found their tree. And we see that um, all of them, basically all the teams have found their, have found their, tre uh, have found their um, trees, basically, to defend it. And um, so we got Beast Boy, Deathstroke, Lobo, and Batman, and Lex Luthor on Team Entropy, Team Wonder, Raven, Etrigan, Zaytana, Dr. Fate, and Wonder Woman. Team Mystery, Sinestro, Superman, Starfire, Starro, and Martian Manhunter. Then Team Wisdom, we got Hardy Quinn, uh, Hardy Quinn, Flash, Cyborg, and Damien. And I believe the Adam is also on this team. 
so we see that as a failsafe, all of the guards protecting uh, protecting he, um, protecting the trees have come about, and we just see what the Colon Hyper Guard. They're protecting the core. It's like Adam, help find Cyborg away, and we'll hold them off. So we see that contain the escape fees. So just see, come here and contain the come the come here and and here come the effing wardens. They like, get in formation. And you just see what formation? Kids, right? Bats. If we're Team Entropy, let's start breaking stuff down. So you just see everybody getting ready to fight. Team Mystery, you just see these um, ghouls come out. We just see the Temple Worshippers, ghosts. They're draining our energy. It's like each as hungry for magic as a starved beast. In us, they found a sudden feast. So it's like, damn it, Lee, come in. Can you hear us? So we just see um, Team. Um, Wisdom or Team Wonder basically get attacked. Mystery, sorry, get attacked. Superman is taken down. Martian Manhunter. And we just see Star's like, oh, no guards, huh? They're not alive. I had no way of. And we just see them. It's like, I knew you cowards would lead us astray. I should have led the mis mission from the start. And we just see Starfire is like, I'd die before I followed you anywhere, you evil. So we just see Superman's like, this enough fighting. We need to get inside that nursery now. So he just rips it up. And we just see some nurses like, and we will by force. There will be no, no more. And then we just see that um, Martian Manhunter's like, what did you just do to me, Martian? I calmed your mind, Sinestro. All of you, all of you minds, forgive me, but you need to listen. Star, you're the most powerful telepath in the galaxy. Amplify my power so that I might convey a message to our friends. And that's the most powerful in the universe, but whatever, go on. And you just see, <laughs> I love Star. Teams, hear me. I know our prospects look grim, but this, this right here is how we lose. We broke the source wall. Us. The challenge we are facing here, because of what, because of that, is entirely new. Which means we need to fight in new ways with new allies. Today we are four teams, but we are all the Justice League. And when you just see Star, it's like, well said. Yes, well said, John Star. If these things are, are these, if these things are AI already blocking their stupid little brains, alien girl, you might be, your blast might be able to. And you just see already on it. So they start working together. So they seem to have found the core. And they say, my god, when the guards called it a nursery, I had never suspected there might be thousands of cities inside these containers. It's like, not cities, Marty, planets. It's like, it's like Kandor. Kandor, on an exponential, on an exponential level. It's like, we have to free them. But Sinestro's like, free them? Are you mad? I scanned thousands, no, tens of thousands of worlds in this room. That's a whole new sector of space unleashed upon the universe. And these are ancient alien races never seen before. Do you realize the chaos you could you create? And we just see Martian Manhunter looking like his old Justice League face right here. Like, not chaos, Sinestro. Mystery. Wow. That's deep. And we just see Jean is right. Brainiac was Cola's worst villain. He took everything they stood for and bastardized for his own ends. These, plan these planets were bottled to protect them from the Titans. Releasing them is the right thing to do. It's like, but also, that much mystery, it have to power our tree. You know, see, if we do this, we have to control them somehow, keep them under our jurisdiction. No, we make them free. That's our part. And we just see this cool looking thing with that. But anyway, it's like, I just hope the others are in time to do, it's like, we do our part. I hope the others are in time to do their part, pretty much. So we have the ultimate, so we get back to Batman's team, and we gotta keep pushing. <laughs> And we see them all fighting, and we just see... I don't understand. Isn't Entropy evil, though? Why would we? Entropy isn't evil, boy. It's natural decay of things. It's pathology. Chaos. And we need to reignite that tree. How the heck am I supposed to decay? You're talking zombie animals like... It's like... And then Deathstroke is like, This is why the Teen Titans should never be allowed at the adults' table. And then we just see Lobo. It's like, look, little man, I get it. You're a team guy. You're scared of letting loose. Maybe you're on team crazy because when Deathstroke over there sasses you like that, you just want to let go. Throw yourself at one of Throw yourself at his one good eye and not give a flying frag what happens. So give in. Turn to the scariest beast you can think of and throw me into the biggest guy you see. And we just see. Hey, I can do that. So... Just see Beast Boy transform into this griffin right here bam so they think now we're talking so they start uh this is awesome nice art by the way so they start fighting destroying things 
And just say, proud enough to share. It's like, let's run these stitches to the, into the ground. Proud enough to share it here. Tell me how many more of these robo things we got to squash before the tree gives us some fireworks. It's like, they aren't making a dent, Lobo. And the nodes in my suit, they're still drawing me deeper. We haven't hit the true source of entropy yet. There must be somebody locked in the center of the prison. Somebody worse than all the rest. Someone guarding with an, guarding with an entire drone army. Even when the rest of the prisoners have fled, you just see that we keep pushing. Beast Boy, Terror Walls to Terror Walls, we just see we found it. So we get back to an animal else like the Earth Seed, but it's activated. Walter, you told me the seed on Earth was dormant, that if we waited until it was activated, it would be too late. Why the why is the damn thing lip already? And she's like, it, it wasn't supposed to be. Oh god. And so Beast Boy and the rest of them are just pushing forward and telling, doing it like that. It's like, I don't know what's... And saying, I'm supposed to know what's wrong. They should have more strength against these spirits. It's like something is dampening my power. So Satan is falling. And we just say, come on, come now, Martian. Together we might be able to wake these worlds. And it's like, very well. So they're getting ready to wake these worlds. Meanwhile, once again, it's like, you're telling me it's too late? That those monsters you described to, are going to come here and eat us? I thought you said we still have a fighting chance. It's like, what changed? And you just see, I, I killed Brainiac. Uh-huh. There must have been some kind of hidden failsafe. And then we just see, the monster's like, oh, the feedback, there's something wrong, I can't reach them. Cyborg to the League, there's a barb in the programming in our Brainiac suits. You just see, I checked the circuitry. It won't let Cyborg connect directly to the colon defense system. It's like, he should be there. He should be right in... It's like, there, he should be right in here. Who? And we just say, no. It's like, you're all idiots. You should have run from here the second you were free to do so. So somebody's here. It's like, so the Justice League didn't screw us, Waller. You did. <laughs> what the hell do we do now? And just see, we pray, Oliver. All that's left to do is pray. And then we see somebody else. Like, did you really think there was any hope for Kolu? That Brainiac would ever put his faith in Earther heroes? He may have needed your powers, but his plan required him at every step. The second he died, this planet and yours was doomed. And you just see, and who the hell are you? It's like, his name is Real Drop, Real Docs. It's like, yes, Batman. But you can call me by the name my father gave me, Brainiac 2.0. Ah, yeah, next week when the world's die. So this was a pretty nice, very enjoyable, good cliffhanger and whatnot. I do give this a 9 out of 10. I liked it. I recommend it. Get it. You know, stick with it. This is definitely a good event to lead up to the new Justice League and everything else we're getting. So thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notifications. Make sure you're notified. Once again, I do these reviews for you, the people, because I want to discuss good comics and get your views on them. Thank you all for watching. I should have more videos up later today. Or my video. We'll see. Bye.